Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Schwartz here. A really important skill to know as you head into second grade is how to retell a story that you've read. I'm gonna share the story Grumpy Cat with you and afterwards I'm gonna do a retell. Here's Grumpy Cat by Britta Teckentrup. Once there was a cat who lived all alone. He ate on his own, he slept on his own, he spent every day alone. He would sit between the trash cans and look very, very grumpy. At night, other cats in the neighborhood would meet and play together. Cat wanted to join in, but he just didn't know how. The other cats didn't ask him because they thought he was a grumpy cat. But really, he was a lonely cat. One night, everything changed. There was a terrible thunderstorm that crashed and shook the ground. Cat looked for shelter from the storm, but there wasn't any. Poor cat got wetter, colder, soggier, and even grumpier than before. Look at those eyes. We know the real problem. He's grumpy because he has a different problem. He's lonely. He doesn't know how to make friends. Oh! And suddenly, out of nowhere, there came a meow. Cat looked down and there between his paws was a little orange kitten. Kitten was as wet and as cold and as saggy as cat. Meow, said the kitten. Cat didn't know what to do. The rain stopped. Kitten meowed again. She thought she had found a friend. But cat just glared at kitten and walked by. Kitten followed cat. She rolled on her back and showed her belly. She wiggled her tail under cat's nose. She tried to catch cat's tail. She just wanted to be friendly. But cat still looked, you guessed it, grumpy. Cat tried his best to lose kitten by balancing on a high picket fence, but kitten was right behind him. Cat thought he had finally lost kitten by climbing a tall tree. Then cat heard a meow. Slowly and grumpily, cat turned around. There at the foot of the tree was kitten. Kitten followed cat up the tree. She tried to reach him by balancing on the thinnest of branches. Then Kitten slipped. <gasps> Quick as a flash, Cat leaped over and took Kitten gently by the scruff of her neck and carried her down the tree to safety. Once they were on the ground, Cat licked Kitten to make sure she felt safe. Kitten meowed. She was happy and hungry. Cat dashed off, but soon returned with a surprise. A great big fresh fish as big as Kitten. Cat and Kitten ate until their bellies were full. Cat and Kitten snuggled up for a snooze. They had each found a friend, and Cat was never grumpy again. Well, almost never. The end. Here's how I would retell that story. Grumpy Cat is about a cat named Cat. He is lonely and mean. There's those character traits. He's lonely. That's the heart thing that's going on and then he's acting mean because of it. Another character is Kitten. She is actually really kind and persistent, I'm gonna call her. She doesn't give up. She wants to be friends with Cat. The story takes place, this is called the setting. We know about the characters, this is the setting. The story takes place in a big city. We don't know which city, just a really big one. Here's Cat's problem. We always need to say what the main character's problem is. Cat's problem is that he can't make friends. He doesn't know how. Here are some steps that get to the solution. First, Kitten finds Cat. Then, Kitten follows Cat everywhere. Then, Cat saves Kitten from that tall tree, remember? Finally, the problem is solved. Here's our solution. We always know there's a solution for a problem. Finally, the problem is solved when cat and kitten stay friends together in the big city. Kitten finds a friend and cat does too. Practice doing a retail next time you read a book also. Bye.